Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB2194 John Sunglasses. But first off, playing today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. These have 53 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge, and it's the standard size of the sunglasses. Ray-Ban also does produce these in a smaller lens size, which has 51 millimeter lenses in the same 18 millimeter bridge. But again, for the vast majority of people, you're going to want to stick to the standard size with 53 millimeter lenses. Now the exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video have Ray-Ban's polished striped gray frames with their dark gray crystal glass lenses. These lenses are extremely clear and they're going to block 99.9% .9 of UVA and UVB rays. And the optical clarity of these is really good, very high quality and glass lenses are also going to do a really good job at resisting scratches as well, which is really important for a pair of frames. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames are pretty lightweight coming in at 34 grams. So you can wear these basically all day long without any discomfort. Maybe if you wear these for over eight hours, they might get a little bit uncomfortable because they do have glass lenses. But for the most part, these frames are very lightweight and very comfortable because of that. Now, as far as some of the styling elements go, we can see a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens for authentication purposes, and then a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens, again, for authentication purposes. Now, moving down the outside temples, we can see these raised little Ray-Ban logos. And what I like about these raised logos is they're not too big and they're not too loud, so they're not too distracting. And I think that definitely makes these frames look a little bit more clean than some of the other styles, which have big kind of gaudy Ray-Ban logos. These definitely preserve the uh, kind of look with these thin temples as well. Now, these frames are made from Ray-Ban's acetate material. And when you look at these frames, they are absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of a uh, kind of grain to the acetate here, and they do make them in a ton of other beautiful colorways as well. I personally really like these striped gray frames, but they do make some beautiful Vanna colorways. So that's definitely something you might want to check out on their website. And I'll be sure to leave a link in the description down below directly to this pair of sunglasses on Ray-Ban's website directly if you're interested in checking out all the different colorways of these frames. And we're also selling uh, some of these sunglasses on our website as well for a little bit of a discount off the original MSRP. So again, a link in the description down below will be to that as well. Now, as far as build quality goes, these are built just as good as any other pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. They are made in Italy, and they say that in the inner right table of the frames, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And they also do have very premium and nice five barrel all metal hinges, and they feel really good when opening up and closing these frames. They also do have a metal rod that runs all the way down through the stem of the frames or the temple of the frames. And you can actually use that to heat up the frames and adjust them to your liking. And after adjustment, the metal stems can help the frames hold their form. Uh, which is really cool. And now if we take a look here at the inner left temple, we can see the exotic information and the exact model number and all that good stuff there. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames, unsurprisingly enough, are not going to offer very good coverage in the sun. So here up top, we can see there's a huge gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there's an absolutely massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, I would say they have very poor coverage from sun, but they do definitely kind of make up for it with their really cool and interesting styling to them. So as far as practicality, goes, they're not going to be very practical for blocking sun if it's coming in at those weird angles, and that definitely can get annoying. But overall, I think the Ray-Ban John are definitely a really interesting pair from Ray-Ban. I really do like the styling. I like the fact that they are still made in Italy, and they're using all glass lenses and acetate frames, and the price tag being $163 is really reasonable for these as well, but again, they are cheaper on my website if you are interested in that. So yeah, I think they're a good pair of sunglasses, and you might want to go ahead and check these out. Well, that's a your presence video if you enjoyed it make sure to give me a big thumbs down below and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time i upload a brand new video just like this one to our youtube channel again thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one